for us, this week's been a real change week. So you know, I think for Alex, up until last week, he was really, really enjoying this race. Um, so things changed a little bit last, last weekend. Um, and they changed because uh, we had an incident. Alex hit something in the water. And the hydro generator, which is this little propeller thing that hangs off the back of the boat, uh, broke. Um, and that means that we've lost 50% of our main power source. So we've got two, one on each side of the back of the boat, one broke, um, leaving us with one. And that's now had an impact on Alex today, right now, but it has an impact on him for the rest of the race. Although we still have one working hydro generator on board, he can only use that on the starboard jibe. And furthermore, we've decided to be very cautious about when we actually use that unit, i.e. when the sea state isn't horrendous and when he isn't ripping along at max speed. So, for now, Alex is still very much in the power saving mode. You know, he's, he's, the, he's the type of guy who loves to communicate, right? So whether it's Twitter, or Facebook, you know, his family, me, his friends, you know, Alex likes phoning, he likes emailing. And when you take a lot of those little things away, he actually feels them pretty hard. Um, so that's been really tough for him. You know, if we don't manage it very, very carefully, it's race stopping. And that's where the team really start to work in a much more you know, proactive way. So calculating the fuel, calculating the power, um, helping Alex um, shut down you know, the power sources etc has been what this week's been all about and it's been pretty stressful for Alex. So while Alex is unable to produce power through the hydros he has to charge the batteries off of the alternators on the engine um, and obviously that means he's using up his uh, precious reserve of diesel. To minimise his fuel consumption Alex does all of his um, all of his chores in terms of downloading weather and communicating off the boat while the engine is running. Um, this is basically the most fuel efficient way for him to do all of the power demanding um, chores on board. We're monitoring Alex's power usage daily. By that I mean he sends me a log file of the charges that he's doing and from that we're able to predict when he's actually going to run out of fuel. If we can't fix the damaged hydro generator and if Alex doesn't get conditions to run the working hydro generator then the bottom line is he will run out of fuel and won't be able to finish the race. Less than a week, five days to Christmas. Christmas at sea is totally different, right? His Christmas day will come and go and it will come and go in a you know, a connected way if the weather's good and he can phone and he can open up a few presents and he can he can make contact with his family. Um, but if it's windy and it's stormy and he's working on a project, it'll just pass him by. We know he'll feel it. So he'll be busy and he'll be doing stuff and he'll go, oh, it's Christmas. Um, and he'll have a moment. Um, and it's really tough for him. Christmas is going to be a little bit different for me than for you guys. This is what my Christmas dinner is going to look like. And I'm not sure Santa Claus is going to visit me, but just in case, I'm growing a beard. Anyway, I wish you all a very Merry Christmas.